Today we're talking about this brand new LEGO set from Up. For those unfamiliar, you might be asking what's up, to which I would reply, nothing much, what's up with you? I told you all I would reuse that joke. Hello all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, but today you can call me a prospector going the wrong direction because I really dig Up. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. This is the all new LEGO Up House. It was just released in April 2023. It contains 598 pieces and costs $60 here in the US. This set includes this beautiful depiction of the Up House, of course, belonging to one Carl Fredrickson, who we also get in minifigure form, along with Russell and Doug. There's even a little mailbox area with a squirrel included. And of course we get the balloons on top of the Up house, which I think really elevate this set. I think this set is selling really well, which just goes to show that people are craving these mid-sized Lego sets. As for me, I was on the fence about picking this one up at the Lego store, but the employee there was really good at upselling. So I went ahead and picked this one up. Our Lego store was actually pretty busy on release day. There was a long line. People were lined up for blocks. For blocks, Carl. Fredrickson. But in today's review, we're going to talk about these great looking minifigures, this beautiful house, and of course, if you'll excuse me for a moment. Hey, how's it going? Hello, mister. I'm with the local bird scouts and I need to assist the elderly. Do you need assistance? Okay, first of all, I'm only 35. And second, I'm very self-sufficient, often to my own detriment. And you, tiny sir, are a lonely prospector because you're an unaccompanied minor. Where are your parents? Sorry about that, that is making two prospector jokes in the first five minutes of this video, but let's take a look at these minifigures. Of course, Carl Fredrickson is included, who actually always reminded me of my own father, because they both hated kids. But when my dad, like Carl here, got a kid of his own, well, then he hated kids even more. In any case, this is a great recreation of this minifigure and a great example of a minifigure whose pants are printed on his torso. We also get Russell here, the wilderness explorer slash tiny male man from the movie. And that reminds me, last night when I was taking my dugs outside, I heard a noise coming from the garden. Turns out it was just a Russell in the bushes. My kids had taken the minifigure outside. But this figure is great. He comes with his wilderness explorer pack filled with accoutrement and he's got double printing all over him. Dual molded arms, dual molded legs, a dual molded hair piece, I think, and probably a dual family situation at home based on the context of the movie. You know, lately everyone's been asking me, what's up dog? Well, here's the answer. It's the up dog, otherwise known as Doug. Obviously this is a new custom mold. I think he's beautifully recreated. I think he's a tad oversized compared to the minifigures, but overall I think he is a very good boy. I was initially confused why there was a squirrel included in this set, but then I rewatched the movie and there's a bunch of scenes where someone says squirrel and then all the dogs run off to chase the squirrel. Of course, we have to mention the large absence in this set. The handprints on the mailbox? Yes, but that's not all. I'm talking about Kevin. It would have been great to have him here either molded or brick built. Not having him included is both a detriment to this and makes me upset. But for the size and price of this set, I think this minifigure selection... One moment. Would you like to buy some Ghost Girls? Yes. What was I supposed to say no? It's for a good cause. All right, let's talk details of this set. A lot of people are gonna talk about the size of this build, and I may not be a lot of people, but I am a person who's going to talk about the size of this build. I think it is a little bit small. However, for that $60 price tag, it's pretty great. As a result, the build was reasonably simple, and I think that makes this set more accessible to a larger audience. However, if you, like me, choose to rewatch the movie up while building this set, it's a little hard to see the instructions through the tiers, but things clear up in the second and third act. And speaking of, this house is about as thin as that movie's third act. Really, rewatch it again. Things get a little far-fetched even by Pixar's standards, but this is a dollhouse style build, obviously with an open back, a very thin side, so really I'm in it for this front facade, but there are some great details within. We really get like three, maybe four rooms included here, a little foyer, of course the sitting room with all a great bunch of details in there, a tiny Frederick's bedroom, which is really just a bed, and then I guess what's a little attic space, which has a little box in it, which is where we keep the little adventure book. Great little touch. I love all the little paintings and pictures portrayed in this set. I think all of those are actually represented in the movie, but my favorite, of course, has to be the large painting of Paradise Falls hanging above the fireplace. Funny coincidence, I actually went to school with someone named Paradise. She was pretty clumsy. One could even say Paradise 
fell down a whole bunch. It was pretty sad to see. A strange point of pride that I have is that me and Walter Disney both have something in common, and that's that we both love miniature things. In this case, we get some great little miniature depictions of furniture in this set. We also get some of my favorite, very literal, compound words and names for things. See if you can follow along. We get a miniature doorbell, an armchair, a floor lamp, a fireplace. Come on. Where does the fire go? It's the place for the fire. A record player, a mailbox, a backpack. And of course, on the beautiful painting above the fireplace, a waterfall. Who came up with that one? Were you out exploring one day? It's like, oh, water, fall. What should we name this thing? Waterfall, great, moving on. Man, this forest sure is rainy. What should we call it? Oh, the rainforest. A couple of things I wish were included which weren't. One, Ellie's chair, which sits next to Carl's chair. I get it, the little sitting room is a little small for that, but it would have been nice to have that alongside his chair. I also wish we had Carl's kitchen included as a room here because we all know Carl loved good ribeye, and at the crescendo of the movie when the house is flying through a thunderstorm, the stakes would have never been higher. I'm not apologizing for that. I don't apologize for anything. And speaking of high-flying action, we've got a beautiful bunch of balloons that sit atop this house. You know, I actually tried to buy some balloons for the background of this video, but you wouldn't believe what the party store tried to charge me to fill those things up. Talk about inflation. I really do think these balloons are a nice touch. I think it's cool the way they're all attached here. Some people will complain that there's not enough balloons here, but in my opinion, this is just the right amount of balloons before it started to get tedious to put them together. I just love the juxtaposition of this sad, graying old man early on having this transition to being literally swept away by all these bright, colorful balloons as the movie progresses. That's a great way to introduce some levity into a movie like this. Levity has several definitions. One, to literally lift things into the air, and two, to brighten up the mood a bit. In any case, between the small details and the overall facade of this house, I think Lego... Excuse me. Do you wanna build a snowman? What? Wrong movie. Also, it's spring. So for my review, a lot of people didn't think this set would sell well, but against all odds, it did. One could even say it was a big upset. But the end result really is great, and it's more of a medium-sized upset with a reasonable price, so nothing to get upset about. I mean, get the upset, just don't get upset about the upset. Set. What? But I suppose if you don't love that price, you can wait for a sale, or wait until you find someone who becomes desperate, who thinks all hope is lost, and then they might be giving up away for free. Or just giving up in general. That's more sad, though. Overall, a beautiful set, a beautiful tribute to a beautiful movie, and a beautiful... Excuse me. Hey, can I help you? Hi, I'm offering a new service where I do YouTube outros for people. Are you interested? Hey, you've come to the right place. Come on in. All right, go ahead. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Remember, adventure is out there, but the Lego is in here. Hey, that was pretty good. I know, right? We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time. Hey, what do you charge? I'll work for room and board. That's perfect. There are a bunch of Joshes around here already. Really? Yeah, we had a bit of a time machine mishap a while ago. Stuff got crazy.